I'm going to do some random pulls for Hong Kong Mahjong. If you're new to the game, there's a link below the video to the lesson playlist. If you're just learning how to play Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and want to improve your game, consider subscribing and click the bell so you don't miss anything. Let's get to some random pulls. For Hong Kong Mahjong, we need to get four sets in a pair. The sets can be three in a sequence or three of a kind. We're seated at east, south, west, or north seat. We're going to start with the east wind of the round. The game is played in rounds, one for each seat. We're going to roll the dice to randomize where we're seated, just to keep it spontaneous. So we're in seat five. Seat five is east, so we're going to put a one up on the dice. This isn't really part of the actual game. It's just for practice. So we're going to say we're in seat one and it is east round. And we're going to say that we're, we have a two fawn minimum. A fawn is kind of like a point. Because we're the dealer, we get one extra tile to start the game. So I'm going to take 14 random tiles and that is our random pull. Let's see what we can do with this. Again, we need four sets and a pair. Whatever that those sets are, that's going to determine our score. So we have to account for at least two points somewhere. So let's see what we can do with these random tiles. We do have a fair bit of dots here. But we also have a pair of nine cracks. We do not have any flowers yet, and no flowers is actually a fawn. So if we're playing a two fawn minimum, let's see what our chow potential is. A chow is three in a sequence. These are isolated, a one six in bams, one five, those are isolated. There's a pair of nines. There's a one, that's isolated. Here's a pair of eights. So these could be potentially split into two the eight here, we could change that into potentially two chows. So I'm thinking either all pung or all chows, where we really have mixed suits here. We have five in dots and four in cracks. So if we were to try for a half flesh with these honors here, honors with one suit, that's called a half flesh, we would have six discards. That's pretty significant. If we paired up along the way, we could maybe play all Pung. So I think we're in between Chows and Pungs. So if we are in East Seat, I think I would hold this wind here because that is our seat wind and it is the wind of the round. If we paired that, we could use that for one of our fawn. So I think what I would do is try for all chow or all pung. This would be a wait and see situation here. If you would do something different, let me know. Some hands it's clear what the direction should be. In this case, it's not because we have a mixture and only two pair and isolated tiles. This would be a rough hand. This might be a defense hand. If you start out really rough like this, you may just play defense and try to get to that next hand and hope for a better start. Let's do another random pull, see if we can get a better start. So we're gonna do south round now. I'm gonna roll the dice to see which seat we're in. I rolled an eight and eight is north seat. So we're in north seat and it's south round. So as a non-dealer, we're going to get 13 tiles. Let's see if we have a better start with these tiles. Well, we have three flowers. Look at that. If we're in seat four though, none of these are, are for the fourth seat. One, two, three. If we though get that fourth flower in the blue set, we could get a fawn, we would get two fawn for that alone. So that may be some help, I don't know yet. So let's get three 
replacement tiles. Anytime you get flowers, you get replacements. All right, so we got a couple of wins and a one dot. So we have a mixture. I'm thinking we should try for all chow and hope for that fourth flower to make a bouquet, which is four flowers in one color. So here we have a potential chow with a three five. Here's a pair that's isolated. Here's a potential chow and here's a potential chow. We've got mixed suits, so that's gonna be a low scoring hand unless we get that fourth flower, which would be really be nice. If we paired up this south, because it is south round, we might be able to get a fawn out of that. So I probably would start by throwing away the west. We could even potentially split that six up into a potential six, seven. We would still need a pair somewhere too. But I think this hand is set up for all chow. We would definitely need that fourth flower though. If we didn't get it, we would just have to switch to defense. That's what I would do here. If you would do something different, let me know. So let's see what we're gonna do for a West round. We are in seat six. So two, four, six is South. So west round south seat. So we're non-dealer this time. We get 13 tiles. Okay, let's see if we have a, a better start here. No flowers this time which no flowers is a fawn, but the minute you draw that flower, if it's not the right one, you could be in trouble. Look at all those cracks. I think I would try for a half flush and sacrifice this pair right here. We only have four discards to get to a half flush. We do have some chow potential in here. There's a chow right there. One, two, three, six, seven, eight. Two chows already. But I think definitely we would have to draw well into cracks. Sacrifice that three dot. I would probably hold it for a while because if we paired up, we could potentially play all pung. All pung is three fawn, so that would qualify. I would start by throwing these two and hope to draw in cracks and honors. Honors are winds and dragons. So that's what I would do here. Half flush. All those cracks. If you would do something different, let me know. Okay, we're now on north round. Last one. Okay, we're gonna roll. I rolled a nine. That is seat one. We're at east seat. So at seat one, we get 14 tiles. Here we go, last one. For seat one, we have a three flower. That is not our flower. We do get a replacement though, a five dot. We do have a pair of west and an east. This is north round and we're at seat one, so that pair, um, pair of west may or may not help us. So let's see what we have here. We've got bams, a few dots, and a few cracks here. So I think if we're gonna try to make a two fawn minimum, Two fawn minimum. We do not have our seat flower. We do not have our seat wind. It's north round. If we went for all chows, even though we're set up for it here, I think that's what I would do because we're set for all chows and either hope for our flower 
or switch to defense. If the flower didn't come in, play defense and just discard so as not to throw the winning tile and move on to the next hand. Sometimes that sacrifice will pay off in the end. I think one out of four again, it seems like one out of four starting positions is good. Oh, that's rough. But it just seems like time and again, that is the ratio. Do you ha find that there's a different ratio? One in four setups is good. I don't know. I think I'll keep track of it. But for the last two sets of random pulls I did, that's what the ratio was. One in four setups was a really good start to a, a decent scoring hand. All these others are pretty much all chow, hoping on a seat flower, which is terrible. But it is what it is. You got to play defensively and then hope for that one in four chance for a good start to win with a higher scoring hand and just play defensively. I suppose that's one of the many strategies. If you have a specific strategy, write it in the comment section and let me know. What do you do when you have the start of an all chow hand and no flowers or no scoring flowers that is? If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, consider subscribing and then click that bell so you get notification for when I post new videos. That way you won't miss out on any opportunities to learn some new strategies or maybe pick up on some insights into the game that'll give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next set of random polls for Hong Kong Mahjong, may all your picks be keepers.